If I have a big chunk of material that I'm sending a current through, and I impose a magnetic field on it, let's say the field is pointed into the board. The current is going to undergo an I cross B Lorentz force. And by the right hand rule, current's pointing that way, the magnetic field is pointing into the board, the force will be pointing up. So, all of our charge carriers that are carrying our current are going to pile up at the top of our material. Now, in general, current can be carried by electrons or ions or holes in the material or some combination of the above. So these piled up charges could be positive or negative or it could be a combination of positive and negative that sums to zero. But in general, any given material will favor one kind of charge carrier over another. So there will be a net charge on top and the net charge on bottom, giving us a net voltage across the material. So if we know the properties of the material, we can measure this voltage to determine the strength and direction of the magnetic field. And this is the Hall effect. I have here some germanium. I'm going to send a current that way through it and expose it to a magnetic field. And I'll measure the voltage across it this way. For reference, I'll have this side be the positive lead of the voltmeter and this side be the negative lead. So if the current is flowing that way, and I point a magnetic field down, the charge carriers will pile up on this side. So if the charge carriers are positive, we'll measure a positive voltage. And if the charge carriers are negative, we'll measure a negative voltage. Introducing the magnetic field, we find a negative voltage. So the charge carriers very well might just be electrons, but this being a semiconductor, there could also be holes. And you'll see the closer I get this magnet, the stronger the magnetic field, the stronger the Lorentz force, the higher the voltage will read. And of course, if I flip the magnetic field, I flip our voltage reading. And we'll do the same thing now with bismuth. Interestingly enough, our bismuth actually starts with an offset of minus 0.4 millivolts, so we'll have to account for that. And here we see an increase of 0.5 millivolts whenever we have a magnetic field pointed down. That indicates that the charge carriers in bismuth are positive. And then when I subject it to an opposite magnetic field, the voltage goes even further negative. And just like with germanium, the voltage change is a function of how strong the magnetic field is. The further away my magnet, the lesser the change.